It's now time to apply what we have learnt in the videos of this course and to create some documents using Microsoft Excel. There are three documents, they will take a bit of time but they will help you learn a lot and help you to understand why Excel is needed and also to help you understand why we've learned what we have so far in this course. I will put links up, there should be three links for each assignment. One of them is creating a sales forecast, one is creating an expenses forecast and the other is creating a cash flow statement. Now if you're not interested at all in these documents, still create them because it's not really um, the documents I'm interested in you creating, it's how you create those documents. Um, how you create the borders, the formula, where you put the text, etc. It's the process of creating these documents that is important rather than the document itself. If you haven't already, I'm just loading up my website now, the course content is on my website. So it may be easier for you to click on the links using the website rather than the links on the screen. Let's bring this across. So this is the website. Go to freebookkeepingaccounting.com or BPFS, Bravo, Papa, Foxtrot, Sierra, hyphen online.com. If you go to pages on the side, you can either click on free accounting courses and find the Excel course or go to the side here and click free Excel training. If you can scroll down you'll then have the course content here with each assignment. Okay, so this is where we are, part eight, introduction to assignments. You then have the link for each assignment. Now, this may have been helpful to show you the beginning of this course, but it's just come to my mind now, and it's helpful for future courses too. You'll see we have our Sage training, other accounting courses, business planning courses. So you can see the content on the website. So I'll stick those links up now, so there'll be three, complete all three, and then come back to this video, as at the end of the video there'll be a click here, where you can move on to part nine of this Excel training course. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck.